six months. The Shenzhou 13 manned space missions will have the twice of the duration of Shenzhou 12. They even had to celebrate the Chinese New Year in space. And floating in the space for six months might be more challenging than you might think, right? Yes, I'm wondering how such a long time in space can affect humans. How will they deal with it? Join me and this AR Technos to find out the answers. Let's check it out! The longer one lives and works in a space station, the greater the impact space will have, both mentally and physically. This is NASA astronaut Andrew Fusdale after being in space for 197 days. In the video, he stumbles like a toddler. Now we have to bring in a new concept, microgravity. Microgravity is in the concept where people and objects appear to be weightless and float in the air. It forces our body to adjust very quickly, for example, through the loss of bone calcium, because our bones don't need to remain as brittle. Another consideration is muscle atrophy. So how can such injuries be avoided? The first solution is more physical practices. Technos should exercise for two hours each day on bicycles, treadmills, weight machines, etc including upper and lower limbs exercises. Secondly, wearing the pressure suit. It will cause extra efforts, thereby muscles will be strengthened. Thirdly, is to stimulate the muscles electrically to assist the tachinos in muscle fatigue recovery and strength training. Blood and other internal fluids that typically flow to the lower extremities will instead rush to the head. It will cause atrophy, facial swelling, headaches, and hallucinations. The technos may not be sure which way is up or down. Therefore, another very important measure is for them to wear special pressure devices on their lower extremities to entice fluid flow. It is also important for them to be carried when leaving the spacecraft without embracing upon their return to Earth. They should also carry out pre-flight training and post-return scientific treatment. During their six-month stay, they will help to assemble China's space station, including the performance of two or three spacewalks to install a robotic arm and a suspension system. Six months will also be the standard duty time on space station. Considering not only the side effects of the space environment on the Technos, but also the huge cost of launching manned spacecraft. This will definitely not be a space holiday for the Shenzhou 13 crew. They will face tough challenges and endure great hardships for the benefit of China's space program and technology. Let's salute to Jai Zhigang, Wang Yaping, and Ye Guangfu. Wish you all the best in space and thank you.